Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you a makeup unboxing slash uh, first impressions try out video. We'll go with that. I haven't quite decided what the title of this is going to be, but I received today my package from Tarte Cosmetics. Um, I think it's twice a year, but it could be quarterly that Tarte has a really great sale that's a 24 hour sale where you can buy seven full size products for $63. I think that's a set price, at least that's what it was this time and last time. And I've done this three times and I can't remember what it was the first time. But $63 for four high end uh, makeup products is pretty good. So what they do is you go to their website, obviously, um, you pick out a makeup bag. That's the first thing you get to pick out. So you actually get six makeup products and a makeup bag to carry all of yours in. So it's a little kit. And then you go through each of the categories and you get to pick something for each category. Um, I've learned that you kind of have to jump on this early, basically as soon as you get the email or within an hour of receiving the email because it is limited stock and so if you wait too late in the day um, you might have three foundation options left and none of them are your color um, same with concealer or what have you so if you are very keen on getting the proper products um, you kind of want to jump on it early but I guess if you're more of an adventurous side you can wait and kind of just pick and choose with what's left. Um, I tried really hard to pick only vegan products uh, and I was successful with four out of six of the makeup products that I chose. Just two of them are not. Tarte is a cruelty free company if you've never heard of them before though they are owned by a parent company that is not cruelty free. So if you have issues with that um, the ownership that's just laying that out there. Tarte is cruelty free, but their parent company is not. I think that's all the information I have now. So I'm going to switch angles and have my um, camera facing down so that you can see what's in the box and I can show the product a little easier. All right, so here is the box all beautifully packaged up. Um, they sent a card that has a little mermaid um, drawing on it that says, Be Brave and Make Waves. Tarte does have a new collection of mermaid-inspired makeup and brushes and those sorts of things out right now. Um, and then a 15% off code, which is really nice. All right, so... Here are all the products that I picked out, and they're trying to go off my ottoman. I am a part of Tarte's rewards point system, so I did add to my cart a sample packet of Tarte's Mermaid Skin Hyaluronic H2O Serum just to try out. I do have um, pretty dry skin, so I wanted to see if this was something that I could maybe use in the future, and this is vegan. So... The first thing I want to show you is the bag I picked out. Um, I believe when I checked out, I had the option of getting this mermaid bag, the basic kind of purple bag, or a black bag, and I already have the purple and the black bag. So I thought this mermaid bag would be kind of fun. Um, if I don't decide to use it for makeup, I can use it for like watercolor storage or something like that. It's the same size. Oh, this is actually really padded. Um, more padded than the purple and the black bag. Um, it's a pretty decent size. There's the base of it. And it's got quite a bit of room in there. Um... Yeah, so I'm not entirely sure what I'll end up using this for, whether I will use it for traveling or for kind of art supplies, but it's really cute. I do like the mermaid trend right now just because I love greens, blues, and purples. So that was the first item I got to pick. 
I'm going to kind of try to go in order as much as I possibly can. I believe this was for foundation and I chose the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation. Um, I don't typically like matte, again, because I am dry or more on the dry side, but their uh, waterproof dewy finish isn't vegan, but the matte foundation is. I got the color Fair Neutral, which is what my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation is. Um, this is a fairly new product for Tarte, or a new release. Um, so, like I said, it's the Double Duty Beauty. This one has the purple strip. If it were the other one, it would have the um, blue strip on it. I am going to wait to open this until I do the try-on part and show you what the size of the applicator looks like. But I think this is pretty big, just like the... Um, Tarte Shape Tape uh, Concealer. So this is what I picked out for foundation. So the next thing I picked out, and this is one of the items that is not vegan, is the Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle Contour and Highlighting Palette. Um, I would have gone with a blush. I think this was maybe not. Um, I think this was the same category that like concealers were under and I would have picked the Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer, but they didn't have my color. So I decided to try um, a contouring palette and they actually have, if you can see that, that is the vegan friendly symbol. So this one is vegan. Let me try and open this. <laughs> So it's, hello camera, it's got a really pretty gold reflective um, surface. Um, I am not good at all at contouring, but I ended up getting two contouring products <laughs> just because, again, I was going for um, vegan. So on the left side, you've got the contour color. It's a nice cool tone color that should hopefully work for me and then on the right side is the highlighting color um i'll show you swatches of this when i do the try on portion but those are pretty nice colors so hopefully they work for me and i won't look like a muddy mess when i try this out so the next thing i picked out and this was for the blush option is the um, Sculptor Contouring Face Slenderizer Pencil in Park Ave Princess 1. Um, I believe this is cruel, or excuse me, this is, on the website it shows it's vegan, but it doesn't have um, the symbol on the packaging. Uh, there's a nice little how-to, <laughs> which I will probably need. Not probably, I definitely will need it because like I said, I don't know how to contour. Um, so it's just a nice little kind of chubby stick. These do twist up and that's the color. I will again swatch this for you when I do my try on and decide maybe I'll do my cheek contour with this and then I'll kind of contour my forehead and chin with the powder. The next item I got to pick out was a lipstick, and this is the Rainforest of the Sea Drench Lip Splash Lipstick in Mai Tai. It's a really pretty kind of orangish red color. I have, this might be my fourth um, tube of not this color, but this lipstick. I love the packaging. Um, the thing that disappoints me and the reason why I get these when they have this big sale is that that's all the product you get. Which, I mean, compared to a pinky is the knuckle, basically. Um, but I'm really excited for this color, especially for summer. And that lipstick is vegan. All right, the next thing I got, and this was for eyes. I think you always get to pick an eyeliner. 
I got the Tarte Clay Pot Amazonian Clay Waterproof Eyeliner in Rose Gold. I am a lot better at using um, pots of liner than I am at using like felt tip liners. This is not vegan. Um, it's a really pretty color though. If you can see that there, I love rose gold. So I'm excited to use this and try it out. And then the last pick was mascara, and I went with the Trusty Old Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This is the non-waterproof version. Um, it's just in black. This is vegan mascara, and I've used it multiple times. Um, so when I do my try-on, I'm not going to open this one yet because I still have one that's open. But it's got a pretty good size um, applicator. And it's nice soft bristles and this makes your eyelashes so long. Um, I also feel like it really fills my eyelashes out. Um, but yeah, I, I really love this stuff. It's good stuff. If you haven't tried it, you definitely should. So that is it for showing you what products I got. And um, now we'll go on into the kind of try on portion which I'm filming on a separate day so when you see this it'll just be a second but it'll be Saturday morning for me so I'll be able to do a wear test and kind of check in at the end of the day so yeah just stay tuned for that if you want to see that portion all right so now we are at the wear test try on get ready with me portion of this and I'm not sure if you can tell but I'm having some pretty bad skin problems right now. Um, my skin is on the dry side anyway and I switched when I ran out of my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, cleansing face wash and my uh, Drink of H2O moisturizer. I tried to switch to the Pacifica Seafoam cleanser and moisturizer but there's something super harsh in it and I've got really sensitive skin so it's really dried me out. It's added texture and I'm just struggling a little bit right now. So um, anyway, later today we're going to go to Ulta and I'm going to return that stuff or get a gift card or whatever they'll do for me. Um, so I really haven't been wearing makeup a lot lately because I'm just trying to get my skin back in good condition, but I still wanted to try out all this stuff that I got. So I am going to go in first with the Tarte uh, Shape Tape Matte Foundation. Um, and I was a little nervous about this being matte because I am dry. Um, but we'll try it out anyway. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this has, yep, pretty giant doe foot applicator. So I'm just going to kind of start on one side of my face and I've got the Real Technique sponge. It's wet. So I'm going to blend that out and then I'll do the other side. I think like I said in the first portion of the haul or where I was showing you everything, um, I prefer more of a dewy finish than a matte finish just because I am dry. This is a little, I got a bit of sun last weekend, so this would normally be my, my skin tone, but it's coming off a little white or really pale at least. At least in the mirror, that's what it's looking like for me. It doesn't look too off on camera. And I didn't get concealer, so I'm just going to kind of bring this up around my eyes. I have mixed feelings about the Dofa applicator. Um, I would prefer a pump or even one of those like squeezy tops um, just because... I mean, I always put makeup on a clean face, but 
I would rather not put it on all over my face and dip it back in and kind of contaminate the rest of the stuff inside there. I think this is a full coverage foundation and for me it's definitely coming off as full coverage. Um, it is clinging to my texture right now and my dry areas, but I kind of expected that and I think it would have anyway. Um, it's not tacky though, so it seems to set pretty well and I'm going to try it without powder just because I don't want any extra stuff clinging to my skin right now. Um, so now I'm going to go in and attempt to contour. I'm going to try the uh, contouring face slenderizer in the Park Ave Princess 1 um, here. And then I'm going to go over with the contour and the, the powder contour that I bought. Um, and just kind of go over it to set it and kind of do my forehead just to kind of use it as a bronzer also. I hope I don't mess this up. I, I'm not a contour, so. Are you supposed to suck in your cheeks? Does that help? I think that's uneven. Ugh. We'll leave it at that. And I'm going to use my beauty blender to blend it out because it is a cream. I don't know. I'm not sold on that. I probably need more. Um, I just, I'm not going to test it out too heavily today. But I'll play with it on a day that I'm not actually going anywhere other than work. <laughs> so now to get into the Don't Be Afraid to Dazzle palette. This has the contour and the highlight in it. Um, the highlight might be a little dark for me, but the contour looks like a, a decent color. Um, it's kind of a cool tone brown. So I'm just using this pretty giant um, Brush. I think it's a bronzer brush, but it's basically the closest thing I have for contouring. I do like the powder a lot better. I think just because I'm more comfortable with powders. not too bad um yeah so in the the reason I picked up this contour is because none of the blushes were vegan um so I'm just gonna pull in the Tarte exposed blush and I didn't bring a blush brush so I'll be right back all right so for my blush brush I've got this New one from Eco Tools that I picked up. Um, it's kind of got an interesting shape to it. I thought it was just squished in the package, but I did wash it last night. And that's just kind of its shape. So I like a smaller blush brush because I like it to pick up the pigment. Um, but I also like to keep it pretty defined. Just gotta pick some up. I usually use the... Um, Sigma F40 brush, I think is what it is. And it's a, actually a, it is a contour brush. So I do have a contour brush, but that's not what I use it for. And 
And I wanted to bring in a neutral, more neutral blush because that Mai Tai lip color is pretty intense. Just got to warm up the face a little bit because that, the um, Shape Tape foundation's pretty, pretty matte and pretty pale. So now I'm going to do highlight. I've got this uh, Eco Tools brush. I'm not entirely sure what the brush is. It came in a pack of like five and I got it a couple years ago. Um, but this is my favorite for the, the Tarte Exposed highlighter. So I'm going to just dip into this here. That's really pretty. It's kind of, um, like it's not chunky. It kind of reminds me of the Mary Luminizer highlighter. Where it's just, it's just subtle and really pretty. I like that a lot. I was kind of afraid that it was going to be too dark for my skin tone, but I don't think it is. Let's go do the tip of the nose. It does have a little bit of kick up, but overall it's not that bad. Alrighty. Um, next I'm going to go in with the uh, Rose Gold Clay Pot Liner. Um, because whenever I try to do mascara and then go in with an eyeliner, it always messes up my mascara and then it's too clumpy. So again, that's what it looks like. And I've got this Sigma E65 small angled liner brush that I'm going to use. I don't think I'm going to attempt a wing because I always mess it up. Eyeliner is just really not my, my strong suit. Unless I have tape. <laughs> and even then it's iffy. I really can't keep my eyes closed when I try to do liner. It just doesn't work very well for me. My eyelids blink too much. Especially my right one because I'm right eye dominant. And it just doesn't like to be closed. <laughs> this is a really creamy formula though. I'm going to flip my mirror around and go to the zoomed side. But really, if you have any liner tips, please leave those down below. I watch all the videos on them and I still... It's one of those things that practice makes perfect, but... Just want to be good at it now. Alright, so now I'm going to go in, well I'm going to brush out my eyebrows really fast because I messed them up with mascara, or uh, foundation. Alright, so I did end up tossing my old Lights Camera Lashes mascara. It was starting to get a little dry and there wasn't much left in the packaging or the tube anymore and I started getting a little sensitive on my outer right corner of my eye last night so I just decided it was time so we're going to use this fresh tube and this is what the applicator looks like it's it's pretty big I don't know if that helps you at all I kind of have small pinkies so maybe not 
Um, but I do like to coat the underside of my lashes and the top side of my lashes. And I just love this mascara because it's so lengthening and volumizing. Like, another thing I can't do is false lashes because I just can't put them on. But you don't even need them with this stuff. It's amazing. I do also have the waterproof version of this. So that's what it looks like on my right side and that's what it looks like without mascara on my left side. And then I have to bend down to do my lower lash line. So yeah. Alright, so that is the mascara on. And then I'm just going to put um, some of the highlighter in my inner corner with my pinky finger just to make my eyes look a little more bright. All right. And then, um, just to give a little more hydration to my face, I am going to set it with the Ready Set Radiant Spray from Tarte. It's foiled so you can't see it very well. And then I'll put on the lipstick. Alrighty, and then the lipstick I got was in the color Mai Tai. I'm really excited for this bright orange. feel like I'm really messing up my lip line. Which is one of the things I kind of, other than the fact that you really don't get a lot, I don't really like the shape of this. But I pick one up every time just because they are vegan and kind of on the pricier side. Alright, so that is the final look, and let me kind of get a little closer so you can see, if you can see the texture. I'm going to zoom you in. So we've got some down here. A lot right here is dry. Um, it's kind of clinging to my cheeks a little. Around the nose is dry as well. Um, and then forehead there. So overall it's not too bad. 
but I think this is a foundation that I'm going to but I think this is a foundation I'm going to kind of save more for winter, kind of fall, because my skin does get really dry in the winter and I don't want it clinging to patches during that time either. Um, yeah, overall I like the look that my kit gave me. It's got some really pretty items in it. I've tried except for the clay pot liner and the uh, lipstick. These are all brand new products to me, so it's fun to kind of be able to try something new at a discounted-ish rate. So that is it, and um, I'll probably check back in a little later just so you can see how it's wearing on me throughout the day. It's kind of debatable whether this is a good time to try this foundation in this makeup because my skin is so terrible right now but it could be good or bad <laughs> so yeah i'll check back in in a little bit all right so we just got back from running around um i think i've had my makeup on now for between four and five hours and it's not looking too bad from a distance but you can kind of see um close up where it is really still clinging to those dry patches um around the nose especially and by my mouth but it's not too bad um the lipstick is starting to feather a little bit I'll zoom you in you can see that and then like there's the dry patch around the nose and it's kind of getting a little shiny on my um, chin and forehead a little bit but overall not too bad so I think I don't mind this so much but I probably would want to set it next time just because I'm used to setting my foundation um, it doesn't feel like it's moving around um, but it is bothering me a little bit it just feels a little drying but I think that's more because of the skin stuff I'm going through right now and less because of the foundation um, I have like I said, we just got back from running around. I've also vacuumed the house. Um, I helped move a, like a carport tent thingy, um, and those sorts of things. So it's holding up pretty well with the minimal exertion I've done and the running around and kind of the, the warm weather. So it's not bad. Um, yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end this video. I'm going to take the lipstick off because it is bothering me a little bit just because I don't... I usually wipe my lipstick off when I eat and reapply it because I don't like the oils and greasiness from food to be on my lips. Um, so the lipstick's been on through that. But I wanted to see how it wore and for pretty basic like trying really hard to not put my lips on things um it's held up pretty well but it is starting to settle into like the lip wrinkles <laughs> but overall not bad um I just kind of want to take it off right now and finish the rest of my chores and cook dinner so yeah this is where I'm gonna end this um if you also ordered the kit from Tarte, let me know what items you picked out or if you've ordered it in the past. Um, I'd love to know what goodies you got and were able to get your hands on. So let me know down in the comments and I will chat with you there until my next video. Bye!